today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use the Thin Frame 3D die set. Hi there, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've got the Alternute Thin Frame 3D die set here. This is awesome because you can create a frame for a A2 size card or you can actually make it into a square card but we're going to do an A2 today. And to do that I need to cut each of these die pieces twice. So I've done that using some 80 pound Nina cardstock. The thinner cardstock works better because it's more pliable, more moldable. You can actually get nice crisp folds. But to make it even easier for myself, I'm actually using my scoreboard here to recreate those lines. Just put like a little bit more definition on the fold lines and there's four on each piece of cardstock. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can simply do this with a um, one of those stylus tools, you know, with the balls on the end. Someone's going to know the name of that thing. <laughs> and a ruler or you can use a ruler and a bone folder, but that's just going to make this part of the process so much easier. You just need to fold each piece along those score lines towards each other. So on the mountain just fold each side and then then you'll have four rectangles. Can you see how that folded beautifully and it has that little dotted element around the edge as well. And you want to have a nice strong hole to join these so that little lip the smallest fold there I'm just adding some red tape. This is a nice strong tape you could use a liquid glue that's going to work really well as well but it does take a little bit longer to dry. The hardest thing about this tape is releasing the release paper. I had to edit that out. <laughs> you haven't got that much time in your life. But anyway I did this to all four pieces. So you can actually change this up. You can use the longer piece four times and make a large square. You can use the smaller piece four times and make a small square. This really is fun. Now Lydia has a video over at the Alton New channel showing how to join these together and she actually joined hers on the card front. She adhered them and then slipped them in and did it that way. I thought I'd just try it this way and I actually joined them first and then added my tape on the back. It was a little bit wobbly and if I did this again I'll probably still do it this way but I might actually add some glue to the corners and hold them in place and make sure they were glued sturdily before I added the tape and added it to the front of my card. So now I want to put something in my frame <laughs> and I've got this beautiful Hello Hydrangea and I've stamped it on some of the Ultra New watercolour pad paper pad cardstock and colouring it with some of the watercolour artist watercolours and I'm adding lots of water I'm adding sort of a blue green I actually did write down the colors I used today for you I used the cool summer nights and the green meadows here for the actual flowers no I reckon I must have used something else as well because that doesn't make sense I would have had two blues excuse me a minute it was seashore that was the first lighter colour that I dropped down and then I used the Cool Summer Night as my darker shadow colour. I've kept it really simple here because my main focus today was the frame but I thought I did need to actually frame something. And this image here is actually a new one from Alta New because this video is part of a hop and it's called Hello Hydrangea and it has these awesome vertical sentiments in it which is such fun because I actually don't think I have any vertical sentiments <laughs> in my stash I can't believe it but that's one of the things that really drew me to this set. I've also got another card that I've shared at my blog and I'll have the link in the description below and also the link to everyone else who's hopping along so you can join in and see what else they've made with the new release stamps, dies, stencils and little ink blending tools, little ones. They're really cool. 
Okay, so I'm attaching my frame now directly to the front of a side fold landscape card and I just held it in place and then I can just pull that release tape away that I'd already used behind and that's the half inch Be Creative tape. I fussy cut my flower and leaves, kind of join them together in a little bouquet and then cut them into a corner because I actually want to sit them within the frame. So I've popped them up with some foam squares and I thought that I was going to leave the leaf sitting out the top like that. Anyway, while I was thinking about it, because I wasn't like 100% sure, I did come in and add some stickles to the center of my flowers. And then I did come in and cut that leaf away because it was annoying me. <laughs> you know how it does that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you did. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every visit you make here. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.